welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft movie videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to hit the bell so you are notified every single time I upload, which is normally every Monday and Thursday. But friends, it is Vlogoween. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can. I may not be able to do an everyday video. As many of you know, I do have several chronic illnesses greatly affect my energy levels and pain levels. I'm gonna do the best I can, as much as I can, to give you guys a lot of really fun content this month. But if I don't post every single day, I'm very sorry, please don't hold it against me. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Ah, my cat's moving the tripod. Today we are finally doing a decorate with me. I'm gonna do my living room for you guys, but I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys enjoy everything. <laughs> Miss Gyps is obviously very excited as well. Um, one thing I wanted to show you all is the lighting. I am super, super excited because um, here's a picture of my mantle last year. I absolutely loved it, all the lights, the floral it was just so cool and nice and full and I'm really excited because this year I have some fun things for lighting a brand called on for you reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some of their strip lights like LED strip lights and I was like of course because you guys know I love lots of fun lighting in my background and I also keep some up on my mantle year-round it just always helps my mood to have fun lights so I'm gonna show you what it looks like completely without any lights, what it looks like with my normal lights, and then what it looks like with the LED strip lights. Sorry if you can hear the cats. There's stuff everywhere and they're like, oh my gosh, is it playtime? All right, well, let me turn you around so you can see the mantle. Don't mind my bare face. I'm in, ooh, let me, let me zoom out for you a little. Nope, that's as far as it goes. Okay, I'm in my fun little Target jammies from this year. It's, well, the pants are matching. You can't see them, but imagine they match this, but fun little print set. I just felt like being comfortable while doing this today um, and not putting on makeup and just enjoying the process fully without feeling like I got stuff all over me. <laughs> so disregard how the look. Here's my mantle as it is right now. Um, I do have the candelabra up already just because I knew that was going to be kind of what I'm basing a lot of this around. Here's my altar and lava lamps. Those stay up year round as well. Here are my normal fun little lights. So you can kind of see them change the color. There's some green ones. It does go on top of the mantle as well. So when you're from far back, you can kind of see it. So they're fun. They're pretty. Um, but let me just turn those off and let me turn on the strip lights. Ooh, can you even see? It's daylight out. So it really, I'll, I'll make sure and show you everything at the end with um, at nighttime so you can get the full breadth of how bright these lights are. But like at night, it makes the full room glow. And I only have them on half of it. I'm super excited about it. I will leave a link to the lights down in the um, description box in case you're curious about them. I am really pleased. I will say they have an adhesive backing so you can just kind of stick them to the wall. If you want to put them on your ceiling, I think it could work for sure. They do come with little clips to help like nail it to the wall because I will say I saw the strips kind of popping off a little bit um, the next day after we put them on. But for the most part, they stay really well. We have them um, all around the floor the whole entire mantle and then we end up doing it around the other oh my god i'm showing you all my dirtiness you can kind of see they're around the full window too as well so um i am really impressed by them but yeah let's go ahead and just get to decorating don't mind me i'm gonna have a step stool because this mantle you may not be able to tell but like here's me i'm five one this thing is like over six foot tall, so um, I can't reach it <laughs> very easily without a step stool. So I'll pull you up. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything pretty easily. First thing I wanted to do is put on some floral. Um, if you saw the picture from last year's mantle, there was so much absolutely amazing floral on it. And I really loved it, but for the things that I want to do this year, I'm afraid that that big floral might be too tall. So I have... This really fun, like branchy thing with bats on it that I got actually last year at Joann's on clearance. See all the glitter? It's a lot of glitter, but it actually isn't coming off my hand, so that's nice. But let's put it up there. You guys can kind of see it. It's fun. It's branchiness. At nighttime, again with the lights, everything will illuminate better. So hopefully you'll be able to tell those details a little better. Let me maybe bring you over a little. Okay, so first, 
this whole thing is centered around Mr. Headless Horseman, so. All right, so I have several options. I'm trying to think, I'm doing mostly like, I think like a jack-o'-lantern and bat branchy tree thing. That's what my goal is. I have so much stuff on my coffee table that I'm kind of trying to use her options, but I have a decent idea of what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to just go ahead. Next things, I'm going to try doing this little, this bat thing <laughs> and these jack-o'-lanterns. These are old-time pottery. These are Target this year. I'm going to do one on, I think, either side of the horseman. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking it. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know so tall my tripod only goes so high all right next i'm gonna do oh i know i am you know i was beyond excited for these beauties so these i think are gonna go on either side of that it's gonna be a whole jack-o'-lantern with witch hat situation because there's so many <laughs> well actually there's just these two but i'm really excited i'm really excited how does it look oh my gosh i'm so excited and this is gonna look so cute <laughs> I love jack-o'-lanterns with my chats. All right, I know these are also the most unflattering angles of me up on this ladder, so don't give me any crap, you know, is what it is. I think next, here's what I have. I think I'm gonna do these little jack-o'-lantern pedestals on either side of those. I was told it, it's a whole pedestal jack-o'-lantern situation up there, and I'm, I'm loving it. Yes, let me think. I think that's gonna look so cute. Okay, and then, I think I'm just gonna do, I got these big, big, big branchy trees um, at Lowe's. I found them and they're massive and they're battery operated. So look at these suckers. I mean, holy crap, I, oh my gosh. And they're like 30 inches, so it's massive. It's gonna help fill up that space so well. Honestly, let me leave it on because this is giving me everything I needed. Oh. I just noticed there's a little jack-o'-lantern card into the front of this. These are perfection. Oh my gosh. And it's all twisty. Like, ooh, how does that look? I think that looks so cool. It's like Mr. Horseman is roaming through the village. Well, not roaming, but you know, galloping along through the village. <laughs> I think it looks so fun. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 <laughs> Should I put creepy cloth like draping down? I mean, let me say back. It looks really cool. Just this. I don't know. Maybe the creepy cloth will add like just an extra little something. Yeah. Let's add some creepy cloth. Let's try it. This is my creepy cloth from last year. I didn't buy any. I might have bought some new stuff. I don't know where it is. So it's uh, it is it is creepy. It is feeling its creepy self. So that will just add to the whole. <laughs> The whole vibe of everything. <laughs> okay. I think I like it. I think it works. Alright, so now we're going to do the actual banner wedding. <laughs> this part. We're doing this part. I actually already have some ideas. So I want to use these little chandelier candelabra thingies that I got. These were from at home and when I got these I thought of the um, other candle holder I got from Bath and Body Works last year. I thought they would look really cool next to each other. It is a little bit taller than it but I'm gonna put, a little, put this little spooky jack-o'-lantern right in it. And these do light up like I think actually all of the jack-o'-lanterns do. They're battery operated so um, when I finish up and I have especially at nighttime, I will turn on all the lights so you guys can see everything all lit up. I don't mind this being taller than this. And then maybe let's put some put some branchy trees on the end here. I feel like I can never have enough branchy trees. Oh and next <laughs> here's I got this, I think, last year from Target's dollar section. We named him Guillermo. Oh my, what we do in the shadows, friends. Guillermo finally become a vampire. Isn't it happy? <laughs> I know this is a bit more cutesy than maybe the rest of the stuff, but I love it. It always goes on my mantle. Well, it was on my mantle last year. Or maybe the year before I came or what year I got it, but Guillermo always has a place. And I love it. I got this bat as well. It's really goofy. <laughs> But it makes me smile so much. I just don't know if it's too big for up there. Right here. Does it block the lava lamp too much? What do you guys think? 
I don't know, I really, <laughs> I might just keep it even if he doesn't super fit just because I love, <laughs> I love how goofy he looks. Um, and I have some little cauldrons, cauldron candles. Again, Target Dollar Spot seems to like just, just gets me every year and I always love all their stuff. <laughs> I'm going to put these, I think, right here on either side. I also wanted to use these um, broomsticks. Um, again, Target Dollar Section last year, I got like the black ones and then I got like, I think I got five of the brown ones because when you see my dining room, you'll see what I do with them, but I love them. Um, I think I'm gonna just stick these, maybe I stuck them like right here against this post so it kind of blocks the post. I think I like it. You will see, obviously, I am not a minimalist. As I decorate, you will be like, oh my lord, she puts out a lot of things. I just like a lot of interest. I like a lot of little things to look at. I don't know, I just, my great grandmother was like that. Every time I visited her, there was always lots of little, a lot, a lot of little, little thingies sitting around and I've just always started to love that vibe. And um, so. I don't know, I just like lots of little interests, lots of things to look at. I'm not a minimalist, so if that's your deal and you're like, whoa, this is too much for me, I'm so sorry. Um, but this is what I love, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoy it too. <laughs> I'm going to put broom on the other side. Honestly, I think that might be the mantle. I mean, it's a lot, but I think that would be it. I'm super happy with this. Yay! Okay, um, well, let me show you. Let me bring you over. I'll bring you over to my little shelf over here. I'm not going to put a ton up, but I'll just show you what I got. All right, so here's this little bookshelf, or actually it's our DVD shelf. <laughs> um, these uh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, I always have up year-round. My Funkos are up year-round. And I did find a stamp. I'm so excited. Also, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Little Sam. Craig got me the little Sam for my birthday this year, which, oh my gosh, I fell in love with. I was so excited because it was completely unexpected. And then we we did find that Sam. I found it at a different spirit. So I have that up. Um, and then, let me see. Okay, so right here, I think I'm just going to hang this little broom parking sign. My stuff doesn't always <laughs> go together. It's a lot of different designs all in one room, but I like... You know, like I said, I like lots of interest, a good mishmash of things. So it's just things that make me happy. And I don't know. I, I like themes, but also I just like making myself happy. And these make me smile. So <laughs> broom parking. And then what I'm going to end up putting up, I think I'm actually going to have Craig do this. I'm going to end up putting the... <laughs> the Beetlejuice sign up there. So yeah, just imagine that up above the shelf. It'll look really cool. Once I get it up, I may not get it done before the end of this video um, or before I get this video posted, but I will take a picture and put it on my Instagram. So definitely make sure and follow me there. I always put all sorts of extra things I don't always show you guys are on there. So um, I'll definitely make sure and at least post a pic there. All right, I guess I can show you um, down there. That is the cauldron with the blankets that I show you guys in the Target haul video. Let me get you set up. We'll do the shelf that's normally in my background, but here, look at it. I think this looks amazing. Okay, so here's the shelf you guys normally see behind me and the whole little background area. I put this uh, Bootyful pillow here. It's one I got last year. I really like it. Also, like, the back of it is just this really fun spider web. I don't know, honestly, if I like it, well, Dots is here now. <laughs> She's taking up the space, so, um, we'll see. I don't know. I had, like, these two, and then I had this one, kind of, <laughs> excuse me, Missy. I had, like, right here, and this was in front. It was probably a lot, but, I don't know, I really like the design on this pillow, and I kind of wanted to use it somewhere, but, I don't know. Thoughts? I have moved these further out to the side, this in the center, like, this too much right I think it might be too much all right let me set to the side work on this little table first I don't do too much to the table I just um, I'm gonna put some extra floral in that vase right there I have these like purple blooms and I have this really fun like glittery candy corn I think this is a pick I probably got from Michaels last year I just thought it was really cute oh, I like it I think it allows the orange to still be present have some fun purple and black 
with it. This vase is actually, um, this was my great grandmother's and I've just kept it. I've actually developed like this whole room based on this vase because I absolutely love it. I don't know, I love it. And then like this table right here, let me zoom out. This table right here was actually her sewing table and I just painted it. This was her sew sewing table and then I just painted it and redid the front and I have used it as a little end table because I, I got this from her. They passed it down like, I don't know, 10 years ago and I loved it and then for a while it just didn't make, make sense with my decor so I changed it and these two pieces are literally what the whole entire room <laughs> is based on so I love it. Obviously I very much love teal. So let's do, we have our, our witchy lady. I got it at Michael's this year. Love her. She's a year round piece. Um, let's do this shelf. I don't, the very bottom shelf you can't see anyway. This next shelf is where all my crystals are. Um, you can actually maybe see the crystal skull from last year. I got it at home. Um, but I just keep that shelf year round. So I'm not going to worry about decorating it at all. So we'll do these two shelves. I'm thinking very like I have lots of ghosts. So I'm thinking like doing a like a black and white kind of theme. Um, so let's just go for it. Okay. This kind of ghost I got. This was an at home ghost. And then I think this was an old time pottery ghost. <laughs> I love it. Maybe I'll go right there. Ooh, actually, something I will put, this right here is actually a candelabra, or candle holder from um, Bath & Body Works. I think I got it last year, but I've seen it again this year. But it turns on, and it's like glittery, and I love it because it makes me think kind of crystal ballish. So I always especially love putting, I keep it all year-round in different parts of the house, but I love keep putting it, especially during my Halloween decor. I think I'm going to put this little, it's like it's supposed to go on top of a candle, but... It's got this black hat on it <laughs> and bats. I just think it's really cute. I think this will look fun on top of here since I can't actually put a candle on the shelf with that. I think that looks fun. Okay, here's our eek ones I told you when we were out and we saw. I was like, oh, I have those from last year. Although I think I got mine in Big Lots maybe. Right here. These light up too. Here, let me turn this light off so you can see everything better. Those look kind of fun. Okay. And then I have this cat from at home. It's a little spooky sign. It's kind of farmhousey, but I just really like the bat on it, the metal bat. Um, I think I'm going to set it on top. You can kind of see it. I like to use the cauldrons to hold pieces. It kind of adds like some height between it. I don't know if I like it because with the candle right there, or the lamp, you can't really see the bat. There we go. Move the cat there. And then I moved the bat and cauldron. And that one over. I think that looks okay. I have so many ghosts from this year. I wanted this to be the whole ghost area, so I'm trying to find ways to fit them all in. I think I'm actually gonna take one of these little bat pedestals and move the small eek on top of it. I feel about that. I don't know. These are too much the same size. Right, I have another cauldron. Maybe we stick. Okay. Okay. Kind of like that. No, that looks too odd. <laughs> too many tall things. I don't know. Maybe put. This is the bat pumpkin, by the way. Well, bat cut out. Doesn't really show very well, honestly. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have these other little ghosts? Let me take this off. The cat right there on the cauldron. <laughs> that look cute. Kind of like this. Okay. Okay, I think I kind of like this. Oh, I did have this Hocus Pocus sign I kind of wanted to use. I used it last year on this little shelf.
We like the hocus pocus sign versus the spooky sign. Ugh, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. What are your thoughts? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you like the spooky sign or do you like the hocus pocus sign? I like the hocus pocus one because I feel like it fills it out more, but I like the spooky sign because then it kind of connects the bat with the bat. I don't know. Comment down below. <laughs> Which one do you like more? Mm, decisions. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to leave those two shelves for now. And then I'm going to work up here with Mrs. Beauregard. I'm going to put some branchy trees up here with her because... Because obviously we can never have enough branchy trees. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then maybe... Oh, I wonder what the spooky sign... You can't see it though, can you? Nope. It just looks like there's a bat. <laughs> I can maybe put this little thing right up there with her. How do we think? What do we think? I think that looks cute. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that is all my living room. I'm not really going to worry about my coffee table, my cats. Um, if you've been around here, you know there are rascals and they will just jump all over it so I'm not even gonna worry about trying to decorate it my couch I have some throw pillows but stuff you guys have already seen so um yeah I think this is everything uh thank you guys so much for watching definitely stay tuned I'm going to show you all of this at night time see how it looks all lit up because spectacular let me just say chef's kiss um I'm, or at least I think it's going to be <laughs> I think it's going to be. I'm very excited about it. So um, thank you all so much for joining me. Definitely stay tuned. I will be doing my dining room next. And then um, probably the last one will be like um, just showing you a little bit of the kitchen, my staircase going upstairs, and then a little bit of the hallway and the bathroom because those are all very small pieces. So that'll probably be all one video. But thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely comment below your thoughts. Spooky or Hocus Pocus? What do you think? I'm still almost wanting to go back to Hocus Pocus because I can't make up my mind. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, I hope you're doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.